Close your eyes and watch your breath. Really watch the breath as it comes in, as it goes out. How does it feel? Try to be as mindful and alert as you can, because you're developing good qualities in the mind as you do this. If you just do this as a ceremony or just go through the motions, nothing much comes of it. But if you really pay, pay close attention, you find that the mind develops, gets stronger, and is able to do better things in life. This is one of the benefits of meditation, is as the mind gets stronger, you've got a sense of well-being. You also have a sense of strength inside, so that the good over the people have done for you will, will bear good in your life as well. As the Buddha said, one of the signs of a good person is gratitude. You think about all the th uh, things that other people have done for you, that you're here right now as a human being. You know how to speak, you know how to act, you know how to work. You know how to enjoy yourself as a human being. We've learned a lot of this from people who went before you, and they went out of their way to, to teach this to you. Parents, other members of the family, teachers, and your true friends. These are the people who have made sacrifices for you. And so what, is it, what are those sacrifices for? They're not simply for you to be happy. They're for you to develop goodness as well, so you can pass it on to other people. One of the reasons why gratitude is a sign of a good person is that a person appreciates goodness, realizes how difficult it can be sometimes, and then is willing to make that effort, or is more likely to make that effort him or herself. So the goodness we do here is built on the goodness that other people have done for us. And you want to make sure that their goodness actually has a purpose. It doesn't just end here with you and just simply enjoying yourself. You have to realize that living as a human being, there's a lot of work you have to do in order to make the world a better place for yourself, for the people who come around you, for the people who come after you. So think of this as carrying on a good tradition. And the best way of showing your gratitude for people who have passed away is to continue making sure that goodness stays in the world. There's a story when Sardi Buddha passed away, and Nanda went to see the Buddha, and he said he was knocked out of his senses by hearing that Sari Buddha passed away. And the Buddha said, well, did he take virtue with him? Did he take concentration, discernment, all the good things in life? They're still here, and they're still here for us to develop. The people who have gone before, they've shown us the value of, of good things, and so we should learn how to appreciate that by making sure that we could give rise to good in our lives. And meditation is one of the ways that we develop the mind, strengthen the mind, so we can do that. So as you meditate, make sure you pay really close attention to what you're doing. To try to get the mind to settle down and be at one with the breath. Work with the breath so that it does feel nourishing. That nourishment is what gives you the strength you need in order to make sure that goodness doesn't die with you, it doesn't die from the world, that keeps on living even after we're gone. 